Maybe Penelope lives in this hole. I'm assuming Penelope Pitstop from Rocky Races. Are you Penelope? I'm a quick learner, but no, I'm not Penelope. Well, Chapter 4 wasn't too bad. Chapter 3, 1, 2 were a nightmare. Was the true Penelope the friends we made along the way? Yes. <laughs> I learnt nothing about cactuses. I just poked and stabbed myself until I got an achievement. Nice. Was the true Penelope the friends we made along the way? I'm not sure. Hey, whack-a-mole. You'll be happy to know in the desert there's no, um... You've learnt nothing about these plants. Stop touching them. Just because whack whack's in, I'm going to welcome him very well. I'm going to try to. There is no water here, so you must be pleased. <laughs> oh, we got a camel. Such steadfast... Such steadfast mounts, our boys! They're able to conserve water in their bodies, the clever things! Water frees the life lads. <laughs> it makes them too heavy to cross the other sands, but it's helpful to have extra water around just in case. Conserve what? <laughs> it's a good thing we found those cacti when we did. Matter of fact, whack. <laughs> did you know? So, some, some equipment and supplies dusted with sand. We have water in our bodies. <laughs> the cacti may look dry, but we squeeze every last drop of water out of them. <laughs> Only when we cry though, right? You've learned nothing about these plants. Stop touching them. We've got two pieces of map. What about sweat, though? <laughs> so we've got two pieces of desert that we can use. That we're just going to go back and not use. So we're going to just place them for now because we don't really have a... Um... <laughs> oh, you guys sweat. I burned my sweat glands shit years ago. <laughs> or do you categorise that as your body crying instead of your face? <laughs> Short slot. Oh, you guys sweat. I burned my sweet my sweat glands shot years ago. <laughs> Yeah, that was quite, <laughs> quite quite the mistake. Oh, we're attempting to get through the desert. I burnt my sweet glance. <laughs> yeah, I may have accidentally said sweet instead. <laughs> Sweat. Oh, we found some of it. Oh, I'm still poking cactuses. <laughs> oh, I would have got that achievement without even trying. Jesus, how many cactuses I've touched. I still have sweet glands. Woo! You must be parched, young sister. I wish we had more to offer you. We're down to our last few cacti, and Granny Nuo is looking a bit worse for wear. I'm fine. Yes, yes, of course you are. 
We were barely able to set up this camp in time before the sandstorms rolled in. The rest of our unit headled, headed rest across the yellow sands. West. Granny knew how. <laughs> But I say we glands don't work. Slam your face into the cactus. You need to step it up. I've, I've, yeah, I read all that backwards, I know. So, the rest of our unit head west across the yellow sands, so... Are you familiar with our desert? No, I'm not. Be careful in the yellow sands. They're ever-shifting and the landscape around you can change in a heartbeat. You always read it all backwards. <laughs> I, I do. The white sands around us are calm and you can always use them to find your way back. Oh great, we've got a puzzle. Water is awesome. Water is awesome creature. Carrying all that water. See, even now you did. I did. When did I get so old? You'd better believe I'm sharp as a cactus, but my body feels like an ancient temple these days. You read all of it like it's all. Sandy and full of skeletons. Enjoy it while you can, kiddo. Back in my day, beautiful isn't she, this golden desert of ours? Curves as far as the eye can see. Ha! We used to have a lush oasis all to ourselves, but it dried right up. We've been searching for another water source ever since. I feel like this is a serious issue and we have to fix you here. <laughs> you do. It's alright, I think I think wax's gone because of all the water. Right, so we've got to try and figure out this puzzle that we've got to do. Does that mean we've got to go this way? No. Yeah, we've got a puzzle. Where? Whack. Hey, whack. Whack. That's one we just did. I've got to find what the puzzle is. So that worked. So we just succeeded again. How terrifying is waterboarding to you? I did threaten them with it the other day, actually. <laughs> oh. I mean, going on the ocean on a board seems pretty damn scary. <laughs> no, I think that's ocean boarding. You know, that's what I'm not. Not what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, that was an easy puzzle. That was a nice easy puzzle. We just had to keep going west. I don't know what it meant by the sands are going to change. So now we've got some more new pieces. We are going to... We'll put it up there. And we'll have the little hut there. And it's next to... Hey, whack! Did... Hey, whack! What's that on top of that map piece? Shall we go and have a closer look? Yeah, it's what they do at the holiday locations, like... Gran Tanamo Bay, right? Um, I know I pronounced that wrong. I always hear about people having fun waterboarding at Gran Tanamo Bay. I think I've completely pronounced that. In it, Gran Tamano. Is that why I'm getting it wrong? That sounds a bit more right than Gran Tamo, like I've been saying. Oh, what's this? There's a sign. Yes. Follow the footprints in the yellow sand. Make sure they connect. Cap'n. Oh, I didn't notice footprints. Okay. That's what, that's, that's what the thing was. That does sound more correct, you British. <laughs> A crumbling relic from the bygone era. 
A tightly locked chest with a series of numbers scrolled on it. 90, 180, 270, 270, 90. That is an official insult now. Just you British. <laughs> Some unusable vessels. A long abandoned tent. Watch out for scorpions. Oh, great. So. What does this look like to you guys? Ah, oh, okay. The second 270 was minus 270. See, told you he has an issue. <laughs> what does this look like, whacking worthless? Looks like Black Sand Gang War. <laughs> I thought it looked a bit like water, but it might not be. Nineteen minus one eighty, two seventeen minus two seventy is ninety. <laughs> Cap and B troops been here. So what do the numbers mean? That's a question. Hello, Brian Croy Dragon. Don't hundred percent know if they if coordinates work. Oh, okay. I think I know how now. But I need to move that map away. There we go. So I need to move that over there. Nope, that was wrong. Here we go. So that's one. The coordinates don't matter. <laughs> right, so we've got no footprints there. We don't want to move that one. Want to switch that one. Here we go. Yeah, you can move tiles to make the map. So we've got no footprints that time. Welcome to the stream, Mount Doomania. Hope you enjoy your time here. Right, so we've got another trail of footprints to follow. And we've got another map now, so that's a plus. Let's get our new pieces and continue on the trail. So we've got a little oasis there. That we just made. Unless, of course, I don't actually have to keep following this. We're going to find out. So I think I need to turn it that way. Yep. Yeah, we've already done what we need. So we're just going to teleport over there. It's the lower class sand, not an oasis. Those are the slums and it's a gang war. <laughs> That it definitely is. So. So that still doesn't help, but. Nonetheless. It used to be such a pitch. It used to be such a picturesque oasis. I'd shed a tear, but I need to conserve liquid. Cough. Hello, little sister. You have the blood of a water seeker in you, I can tell. Not everyone can read the desert so well. <laughs> it's not an oasis, you ignore We lost track of Captain Samara. 
but we will find her. Just as we will find some water soon. We seekers use all our senses to locate water. We inspect the appearance of the plants. We sense the movements of the animals, the density in the air, of the air. Clues are everywhere. Hey, look, whack, a water camel. Captain Salala, is that Vitru's girlfriend? Yes, that is Captain Vitru's girlfriend. <laughs> what a dramatic dromedary. He only takes captains as his mates. <laughs> oh, we're shaking a tree to try and get a coconut off it, I think. We just got a coconut. You've learned nothing about these plants. Stop touching them. Oh, another cactus. Okay, of course. I have definitely not learned to not poke cactuses all the time. Right, so we've got a new piece of map. Right, let's put that there. We'll explore it and see how this goes. This might be the map piece we are looking for. This, These might be the coordinates. The coconut never kills me. You're a little child with a child's little child head. Soft child head, mind you. True. Well. I'm, I'm like a super child who, you know, puts in this predicament in the first place by putting a blimp and a lightning storm together. In map form. So these sandstorms are a bit of a pain. I think it just blew me into the exact same tile. So imagine the impact of a coconut being wildly sh shooken and taken from its natural abode. He must have hit you with extra vengeance. I think I've got to keep going into these until it changes into the one I haven't explored. No, that's a cactus. Don't poke the cactus. I've learnt that lesson. That's, this is the same cactus, this is the same area as we just came from. Right, we're going to put the third area up down here as well. So I can go through the three areas and hope to find the one we're looking for. Since it's just replacing all the tiles. Probably will leak. Right, we're gonna try something. Maybe if we do something like that. Nope. Just don't punch the cactus too hard or it may leak water and then you'll scar whack for life. Yeah, I, I assume that will definitely happen. That looks interesting. He'll be like a surviving trooper after watching an alien's acidic blood kill his whole squad. Hmm. I'm going to go figure out I'm going to go to these two and see if they figure out anything else. 
So it's just something about just Captain went missing for a few weeks during an especially strong sandstorm. She's the best water seeker we have. Pretty sure she can Pretty sure she can survive on her own, but it's been so long. Granny knew I must be so worried about her. Sometimes water can be found near where vegetation grows in clusters. Keep an eye on those cacti in the yellow sands. Okay, okay. Okay. I've got to do something with a cacti. So there's cacti over here. So... I think I've got to actually put the cacti together. So I think I need to move the other two cactus pieces so we can see cacti. So we've got two lots of cacti here. So we need the third. So I need to take this map till I get the cacti there. So it should be one more twist of the map. Here we go. We figured it. This game is so full of puzzles. So let's go and check what we've just found. I found some strange ruins. Sisters, I'll meet you in the middle of them. I know I'm close to the haven. So we may have just found Captain Samala, Captain Beatrice of a half. Um, a noble camel chewing on a long ornate silken scarf. Well, it's probably eaten the captain. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing we just came from. Odd pause, but alright. So we still haven't found the way to get into this chest. Great, but that's fine. All they want to do is eat people, yeah, that's true. So, is this the skill? That's what I would have done if I met the captain. Chomp! <laughs> Oh no, I'm reading it backwards again. Did that cactus spark? Odd pause, but alright. Whack was right all along. We can't trust those water carrying creatures. All they want to do is eat people. Found some. I'll meet you in the middle of them. Some strange ruins. I don't have any more maps or anything. Hmm. So this is definitely going to be a puzzle or some point. Do you think they also spit the water as a means of ranged weaponry? Yeah! Yeah, they do, they do tend to be quite easy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, assume, I assume that is correct. Right, let's try. Nope. Or do I need these ones? I might need the old piece of map, even though I shouldn't really need the old piece of map, but... That one's also got a... Like... I didn't do anything. That didn't work. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we know about the cacti. Keep an eye out for... Keep an eye out... Keep an eye out for clues in the other sands. Captain might have left a message. Oh, it is a good thing we have whack with us, or else we would never be able to progress in every game ever. I agree. They've all changed into... I've got it now. Right, so that one needs to move. I just... Did the silly thing. Right, so we're going to go to the ruins. In the ruins. So, so here's the, um, here's a wall. Found some wall. Problem is I don't know where the edge of the map is. So I think we've got to spin this one round like that. So now we know where the wall is. We've got that wall possibly in the wrong place. I've got an incredible ana analytical mind, analytical, and that's why we keep the water away from you, just so you don't use it against us with your analytical superpowers. That is true. So I put the wall in the wrong place. It needs to be there. So it's got to be something to do with these rocks. Anal analytical. <laughs> Analytical. <laughs> so, it's something to do with these walls in the middle of the ruins. So, maybe all the walls have to be. Do we have to move that one? And then move these walls around. Think this up. Right. Let's try moving this one, moving that one, moving that one. So the walls are there, and then have that one. So the walls at the bottom, or should be. Feel like I may have messed this up. Yep, I have. One more. There we go. So we've got the walls around us now. Yes, maybe if I move this one over here. Hey. 
Analytical. There we go. This. Whew, this one's a bit of a doozy. Right. So it's definitely something to do with these walls. It's just trying to figure out what. Maybe I've got to move that one back. I don't know. Somehow I've got... Right, so we... What have we achieved besides feeling claustrophobic? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> we figured out this is not the correct pattern. Or path. And I've learned nothing about these plants. Stop touching them. Maybe. Just maybe we have to surround it with them. It definitely is a correct path, I just haven't found it yet. But now we've got a wall at the bottom of these ruins. That, that is definitely what I'm trying to do, but... Making a square is the hard part. It's lining them up that's been the problem. Oh, I, I get you. I get you now. Yeah, I get you. I think you're right. Right, so we've got two there that are correct. There we go. Whack is correct, apart from... We only needed a frig, we didn't need a full square. I did try that, but I just didn't get it right. So, is this natural, <laughs> helpful tip, whack tip? What happened to you, man? You used to be cool. I don't know what you're talking about. That's the least helpful tip I've ever given. Exactly, that's the point. And it succeeded because of you as well. <laughs> so, I'm assuming this is B true, some half. No, you said actually helpful, as if my usual tips are somehow less helpful, which is nonsense. No, I did not want that to come up. Stop doing that. No, don't want that either. <laughs> yeah, that's what they usually are. <laughs> nonsense, but not this one. <laughs> Right. I see it. Through the sand, so hazy. Built up from the earth, cool stones. Wrapped around water, deep below. <laughs> Which again is precisely the issue. <laughs> you snood. If you follow my tips, you'll succeed 100% of the time. <laughs> Did you hear that whack? Wrapped around water, deep below, and somewhere beyond. So now we've got to find underwater. To win win. Dot dot dot. <laughs> no water. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> it doesn't actually make them helpful if they're as vague and generally applicable to almost everything as they are. <laughs> the haven. Oh, we got a map piece. I see it. I'm so thirsty. Right, 
Right, so I've got a feeling the Haven is going to be all four of these maps <laughs> at Worthless. To stop pissing me off, try to be less of a snood. <laughs> Whack a all top tip. Okay, that did not help. I thought that would be like the end goal here, but. Let's get back to where we need to be. I know I could have made it a lot less of a journey, but where's the fun in that? See, that's not fake enough. <laughs> Can we get in that chest yet? Or is that what we're still trying to figure out? Yep, I think we're still trying to figure that part out. Well, 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 what have we found here? A rugged well, missing a rope from its pulley. At whack -a step your game up, man, you're losing your touch. Some fresh water glints in the sun deep below. A broken bucket. So now we need to find rope. I think this rope's so There's no rope here, that's useful. They're almost plus 90 degrees, so probably angles for turning parts of the map rather than coordinates. <laughs> I get an actual helpful tip. Yeah, that could be right, actually. 90... So, it was there originally, so... 90. Minus 180. 270. Minus 270. What was the last one? 90 again, wasn't it? Uh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Guess what I'm drinking? Water right now. <laughs> Is it the water? Is it making you weird? <laughs> right, so that didn't entirely work, but... That's actually not a bad idea. Wait. Oh, that's because I brought them over here. Woo! Take care of yourself, sister. If you find yourself mumbling or too tired to move, you're dehydrated. I mean, it kind of did something. I hit the safe clicking. Did you? God damn it. I think that's just the map. Yeah, that's just how the maps operate anyway, Zach. Have you encountered a noble white cabin? That's our captain's mount. She leaves him to wait just outside the other sands. If you can find that camel, perhaps you'll find a clue to our captain. I've already found your captain. The part with the safe makes a different sound when it spins. Oh yeah, you, you guys are in fact correct. We got it. A luxurious chest filled with shimmering treasure. 
I still couldn't hear the sound effects, so I definitely did not get that, but... Surely no one will miss one coin. Obviously I had to go to chest and then... Figure it again. Treasure doesn't mean much when you're thirsty. Ah, the booty is ours! That be true, me artists. So, maybe if we bring the camel back, maybe that will make more reunite. And bring the captain back as well. Maybe not. Right, so, now we need rope. Hello there! Captain Samara said to head back to camp if we get lost. We're just regrouping and we're heading back out to find her. We're headed back out to find her, okay. I got it wrong. Hut, hello! The coconuts were empty but we've found a few more cacti to bring back. What a resourceful creature. I'm... I'm in second place, just above Emma in the bits ball, even though we're both what zero. I don't know how that would even make sense considering you're on up. Uh... Yeah, I've no idea why you would. <laughs> well, that's true. The best source of water is well, a uh, well, when you can find a wet one. Just need rope. Is it, as the only expert, is it actually true? <laughs> Possibly. Now, where do I find the rope? I don't know where I find rope. On the tree. I don't know why I'd find rope on a tree, but... No, there's multiple trees, okay. No, that's a cactus. Don't play with a cactus. Not very good at that. Any of you have any rope? Yeah, I've heard that lot before. Eee! We're going to use the scarf, I think. I don't think that's long enough, but you know. Don't blow a cactus! <laughs> uh... Last, last, I just realised now, I don't know the relationship between Irian and Emma. Are you actually going out or just roommates? Um, We were to get married in March, and then lockdown happened. <laughs> it, why does it sound like a sausage? Yes, it is weirdly... Complicated because of coronavirus. <laughs> oh, and we've got a cactus as a bucket to get some more water. I don't think a scarf could be technically that long, but, you know. Apparently it's the longest scarf ever that the camel was munching on. So, let's get back to... Captain Beatrice of a half. You know what's great about wells? Um, not sure. Well, what is that then, Whack-a-Mole? I love that they have water in them. <laughs> the scarf was actually the camel's tongue. It might be long enough then. There we go, we're giving Captain Samala some water. Drinking it all. Dude! Halloween ended, right? Yes. What? Why? What's up with Halloween? <laughs> why is Wack being creepy then? <laughs> I don't know, maybe he didn't get the message. <laughs> Man, I wish I was captain so I could be having a swig of water myself. <laughs> I know, Whack is being weird. Ah! Thank you, 
for saving me, sweet sister. So I get to go. We've got an imposter. I almost made it to have the haven, but I lost my units along the way. Please give me a moment to contact them. With haste, my friends. Okay, scoured beetle as a communication device. That makes sense. Yeah, I'd question that as well. Oh, apologies, I was sending a message for your sand beetle. Okay, sand beetle. Eh, they're close enough. They're a great tool for communication. We mark our position on their shell and they bow, bow towards the footsteps of others. They shed their shell every few days so it doesn't bother them. You must be very brave and resilient to have found me here. Did you pass my sisters along the way, my I ask? Sand Beetle playing the role of Scout Beetle. That, yep, yeah, that is the one. I'm so relieved. I knew they'd be fine, but I wasn't sure how far my clues could would get them. How far my clues? Irian, who's the woman in the room with you who does the voices? It doesn't sound like Emma. It's Goblin Emma. That's... That's Meodia Storm song. Do you, do you want to say hi, Meodia? Hello, S Wack, how are you? How's it going? I'm Meodia Storm song. Sack knows of me. <laughs> if I'm right, this is indeed the gate to the Desert Haven. The most enchanting voice I've ever heard. How did you manage to make this weird? <laughs> I can make any situation weirder, don't worry about that. <laughs> but to open it, I need a special artifact. Our tribe has passed it down through generations, knowing it would show us the way when we truly needed it. <laughs> I believe that time has come. The only thing sweeter is the sound of trickling water. <laughs> that's it. Right, that's it. I'm getting a sandwich break. Sadly, I was harangued by a group of sand rogues and one absconded with the artifact. While we wait for my sisters, could you please have a look around for them? Thank you kindly, I'm truly in your debt. Be right back, I'll come back in five. Okay, no, see you in a bit, worthless. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure Wack will be waiting for you with more ammunition. More water gun ammunition. If you find one, remember, they're too fast to catch unless you can distract them somehow. One stolen bracelet right off my wrist once. Those wily devils are attracted to sl shiny things. Ah, I know. That's all good, we have a shiny thing. Hope you'll join that sandwich with a nice cold glass of water to stay hydrated. Too worthless. Right, so I need to find these rogues. But we needed something shiny to deal with them, which we've got. The sisters received a beetle from Captain Samala and went off to find her. I'm so relieved that she's safe. I'm just an intern, so I stayed behind to take care of the camels. They're a little smelly, but I love them all the same. So, so where have they gone now? That's the question. We don't need that anymore. So now we might have to move maps around again to get this, these creatures that like shiny things. But we haven't got any map pieces for a while, so that's going to be fun. And we did the ruins, so that's all good. And she's still on her own, so no idea where the rest gone. 
The sand rogue should be in the yellow sands. Use something shiny to lure one out. There we go. If you don't have anything shiny, you can probably find something in the abandoned camp. Well, I've got that. I just need the um, shifting sands to come over here. We'll make them into part of a square and try and figure out the puzzle, which I'm sure will be a puzzle. So that's back to her. We, oh, That's the problem. You don't really see the parts where the map changes, so it's a bit hard to tell where you are. So let's not go backwards, because that'll mess us up. Oh. We found one. Just gotta find somewhere to place this coin. Okay, I can't touch cactuses. Unless that's showing me where it's going. Aha! There we go. We got one. A, di a dizzy rat with a fluffy tummy. Kind of soft and very sandy. Meh. But something strange amongst its fur. A piece of the map. Yep, definitely rest in peace, rat. It definitely um, knocked itself out, at least. Can we get a coin bag? We can't even get a coin bag. At least we've got the bracelet, so we can give the bracelet back to her before we um, go to that next place. Oh, everyone's here now, apparently. Hey, hum. The artifact! You found it! I'm overwhelmed with gratitude, you are truly a miracle, sister. Now if I'm right, we just have to put the artifact in place like this. I don't think that's the only piece. Wow, did you see that band of sand rogues going by? They make my skin crawl. Who knew the desert would be full of rats? Don't we have snakes for that? Haha, -ha. didn't think I'd make it, you kiddo. Make it, did you kiddo? I've still got some pizzazz. Of course, or whatever the kids are calling it. I don't know why I said of course, that doesn't even say of course. And I wasn't going to let my only granddaughter go thirsty. She may be my captain, but I love her just the same. There's some ancient writing on that gate, almost as ancient as me. It says something about the light. We made it. That gate, it's incredible. Centuries of reverie and yet still it stands. But what do those symbols mean? Well, got that piece of map that I still need to explore, which will probably help, so. Oh, you can see, actually see a faint line where the maps join. Even though I say that and I just wandered straight through it. So we've got four maps now, which will probably join for the next piece of the puzzle. So let's try that, shall we? No, don't do anything yet. We've probably got to trigger the next part. So we'll go back and trigger the next part first. The artifact is set! So what's the final step? I was hoping you'd tell me, to be fairly honest. Hmm. 
Okay, there's three arrows. There's two arrows. There's two arrows on either side, and there's that symbol in the middle. Stay what's gotta be around. I assume so. Just trying to see it all. Right, I'm assuming it's got something to do with the four deserts. Because they're the only things we can actually put around it anyway. So we've got the four deserts in place. Let's go in and see if these have anything on them that help. So that first one has nothing to help whatsoever. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any proper shape or anything, really. But it's got to be something to do with them. Just gonna keep exploring each one. Just make sure there's nothing I'm missing. They all look like the exact same kind of map. And at the end of that I'll just start messing around with map trying to figure it out from there. Because all of these map tiles seem to be quite similar. Oh! I might have it. I might have it. I think that one needs to be there because it's got three shapes on it. But I think I might have just put them the wrong way around. I did. So this one needs to go one more that way. I think. No, I, don't, I still don't think I put it the right way around. The map is changing every single time I'm on it. That looks about right. That should be it. Right, because it shows three rocks like that at the top. So I'm assuming that's this one, not that one. That could be it. Head of noise. Reveal the haven under the light, but which light? The artifact is set, so what's the final step? Do any of you guys have any useful information? Nope, of course you don't. Crap, I just walked into that. Two rocks here. There's only two rocks on this map. Now, anyway.
Definitely need that anymore. At least it's not elevators, yeah, that's true. This one should be a lot more manageable. Unless these rocks are what implement, I don't know. I don't really think these rocks will make a difference. That's got four rocks. Just figuring out the puzzle, that's what it is. Unless... Something like that. I'm pretty sure this for the three rocks is correct. No, I can't see the three rocks. I'm just going to reset it right now anyway. Wait, now has it got four rocks? <laughs> Definitely at least it's not that. That would make it worse. Unless the rocks are like arrows, maybe. Maybe they're the arrows we're looking for. Can you stand in the light? Yeah. Yeah, the light does make a noise when you're in it. But when you go into these things... Unless, unless... There might... I might have to put the four maps... Four pieces together and walk... Through each one. And see if they make a noise. Maybe there's a puzzle that I haven't... Even thought to try out yet. That didn't do anything. True, maybe. Actually, that is an idea. Oh, there we go. And then maybe I've got to use my map pieces to make the house. Ah, uh, there we go. God damn it, that piece of water's in the way. Well, whack. Very knowledgeable you are. It's like you've played this before. Oh, look what we got, whack. <laughs> Worthless will be happy. This our moment, sisters. The gate has opened. But where's the haven? This game comes up with too many puzzles. It's scary. Everything shifted. Do we go through the gate? Haven! Haven! I can feel the moisture in the air. We must be close. So somehow we've got to get to water now. And... Hey, look at that. There we go!
We made an oasis and the camels is... The water's not going to last very long though, is it? <laughs> She's crying. Okay. Um, I guess our drinking water is also a camel bath? I'm just going to not think too hard about that. Yay, water! A story of... A story of giving people water. It's beautiful. Sobs. Uh, you missed the ones where I had to get through a forest that kept changing. Right, I need to fill in the land so I can actually get around. <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead, obviously. Here we go. can actually get around the lake now. Well, well, well! We don't even need a well anymore! <laughs> I'm not here and he's still being weird. Jesus! Hey, hey, Worthless, did you see what he said to you earlier? He did ask if you were enjoying that sandwich with a nice cold glass of water to stay hydrated. I think you missed that just af just before you went. Just after you went. Maybe we'll turn it into a wishing well and finally have a use for these coins. Who eats their sandwiches with water? <laughs> Besides whack, of course. <laughs> it's amazing. We're going to need a bigger camp and a boat. You're not going to fit a boat in that little piddly pond. <laughs> not a very good boat, anyway. Wow! I always knew the haven was out there, but it still feels surreal to be here. We couldn't have done it without you. As soon as we track down some more beetles, I'll send messages out to the rest of the tribe to join us. Water at last! I'm grateful to you, kiddo! You helped track down my granddaughter, I mean the captain, and then helped her find the haven. You're an honorary water seeker as far as I'm concerned. Oh, so what just happened? Ooh. Woohoo! Did you feel that earthquake? It could only have come from the volcano. <laughs> Yay, I'm an honorary water seeker. <laughs> What seeker? You misspell honorary. <laughs> like I think you did anyway. There must be a major eruption for <laughs> to feel it all the way out here. <laughs> okay, do we have to have an intervention at whack a mole? There's. There's no west for the wicked, I tell you. Out of the frame sand and into the lava. <laughs> What's happening here, bud? An intervention for what? Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> so now we know where we're going next. We're going underground, which is going to be fun. The camels are just chilling. Chilling the water. We're going to have to leave Captain B. True's girlfriend behind, so let us go and venture on. The Elders whispered of secret tunnels beneath the haven. Don't mind you, might not find your way back once you enter. <laughs> we are friends and I think we both know this is you. Is your family being held hostage by the water spirits? Wink twice if yes. Some stairs leading down into the darkness. Check it out. Water. Well, water is the origin, giver and progener progenitor of all life. It's only natural, right? We will enter. Let's do it. <laughs> 